What's the proper vitamin D dosage for breast cancer prevention? Larry, we're talking about vitamin D supplements. People can get these at the health food store, the grocery store, or whatever. But I think a lot of confusion is, how much should I take? And probably that depends on knowing what your baseline is. It completely depends on knowing what your baseline is. If you get your vitamin D measured and you're insufficient or you have not enough vitamin D, but somewhere below 20 nanograms per mil, you might be really low and have 10 nanograms per mil um, vitamin D, then you really have to supplement um, with large doses. Okay, what's a large dose? So a large dose would be 10,000 units a day. Someone who's below 10 nanograms per mil should be taking 10,000 units uh, a day. Someone who's 15 or below 20 nanograms per mil probably get away with five to 10,000 uh, international units a day. And take that for a couple months. Um, and you, as you said, you can get them at any local store. And they're relatively inexpensive. And again, get your vitamin D measured at the end of a couple of months of taking the medication and, or the supplement and see how high your level has risen. I would also encourage all breast cancer patients to be taking some uh, form of calcium with their vitamin D. We have lots of information about the two, the two supplements together and everything works better if you have vitamin D and calcium. And so in general, for a heart healthy lifestyle and that, we, A, we need to go to our primary care doctor and have a measured value. B, if we're insufficient and low, take vitamin D supplements as you suggested. And I'm assuming calcium should be taken with the vitamin D supplements as well, correct? Yes, yes. And you can, um, some people can, um, don't tolerate dairy products so well. If you can tolerate dairy products, then a glass of milk a day is gonna give you plenty of calcium with your vitamin D supplementation. If you're not, um, if you're lactose intolerant or you just don't like the taste of milk or dairy, then you can supplement with um, calcium tablets, calcium sulfate, calcium carbonate, all those kinds of all things. All right, very good. What about yogurt and things like oh, yeah, that? Yeah, it works great, works all great. Right. Very good. So I think we've gotten some really important information about vitamin D, how much we should take, and including calcium with that. Thank you very, very much. My pleasure. breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.